Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, I mean, what I talked about yesterday in my last Bitcoin video um, happened in the end. Yeah, so because we came down so much with this wave here, yeah, I think we had basically this sort of 90% retracement. Yeah, it just became very likely to then also break that $19,400 level. And you can see what happened when we broke exactly the previous swing low here, we just smashed down. That is usually a very strong signal that we are in a wave three. So I think we are following here the path nicely. My current read is that this was from the high at 25,200, a wave one down. We then had our A, uh, sorry, <laughs> wave A up, wave B down, wave C up. Yeah, um, basically an expanded flat in a wave two, and we are now coming down in a wave three. This entire scenario became very likely when we broke below the $18,900 level. So someone asked me before, um, is it not more likely to, to move up in some kind of an ABC structure here? And I said that is all possible, but this is pure speculation. And again, we just want to focus on what is in the chart and which opportunities arise out of the current price action that not any sort of possible scenarios that might happen in the future because it leads you into a path where you can just look at anything really. So we want to focus on the most likely counts here. Um, a move up from here was only possible had we broken the $20,200 level and then something more bullish only above 22,100. These movements are still possible, but now very unlikely given that we have moved down. And um, overall, I think we are following the path here in this wave three down in yellow, which is normally the most bearish or bullish wave, depending on if you're in a downtrend or an uptrend. And in this wave three in yellow, we obviously want to focus on the overall price action here in more detail. So within the wave three in yellow, obviously you have five waves. So we had the wave one down, the wave two up, the wave three down, the four and the five. We're now in the wave three as I read it. And in the wave three, we can um, formulate a target for the wave three in white, all right? So um, let's just base it on the current wave count here. And target would be, first target would be $17,400. I think this is for me the most likely one for the wave three in white. The reason is, the reason is due to the sub waves here. Yeah, because um, if I measure the blue wave one, again, it's the same story here with measuring targets. And then we look at the white, uh, the blue wave three here at, uh, we now reached the 1.618 extension. I think that was the target we talked about in the previous video, 18,450, the 1.618 extension of the wave one is for a blue wave uh, three ideal. Could now enter a wave four correction. That is normally only a very shallow one before we come down in a five. And here, you know, with a, a the blue wave, wave five textbook target would be 2.618 extension at 17,350. So I think this is sort of where we have a bit of confluence here to end this wave three in white. Um, now we could expect a bit of a sideways range or wave four correction possibly in a wave four. Now these can sometimes occur as a triangle. They can just be an ABC. Um, yeah, and let, let's say we, we bottomed out here, then we're looking now at a wave four retracement possibly, yeah, unless we break the 18,260 level, a wave for retracement as an absolute maximum, yeah, absolute maximum into the region of 19,210, but this would be the maximum. I would rather say, ideally, we'd be looking at the $19,000 level here, the 38.2% FIP level. If we're very bearish, it would only be the 23.6% FIP level, which is at 18,700 and then continue to head further down. Important to understand is that any move, the higher we go in this wave four, the higher we will probably end up in the wave five. That is just how it is. You know, if it's only a very shallow wave four, we might only, uh, we might drop much more. So yeah, this is very interesting. Um, it looked a bit like Bitcoin was still holding here while Ethereum was already coming down quite strongly. But so far, you know, it seems to all be following the same path. And um, now we've even broken below this previous swing low which on the other hand makes a bullish scenario very unlikely. Okay, so still aiming here for a new low for Bitcoin, um, which has just become much more likely with a break below that wave B as well. 
<clears throat> so it's all following nicely the path. And um, yeah, and that is my update about Bitcoin. Maybe to um, finish this off with overall targets here generally. So I mentioned it regularly to the channel members on Discord, on Telegram. But for me, you know, I'm, I'm looking at ending this entire move between 14 and 16K. This is sort of a key level, yeah, 14 to 16K. Can I promise you this is going to hold? No, of course not. No, of course not. Um, the 16.9K level is already an important support level. Very important. Um, this is the 78.6% FIP level of the Bitcoin last major wave. So that will be a massive support. Should be 16.9K. Um, but at the moment, due to the structure here, it wouldn't suggest that we are stopping there. Okay, so ideally, I think we go lower. 14 to 16K is sort of a region where a lot of Fibonacci levels are going to point towards. Um, if we drop below that, then we're looking here at something like the 10.5K level. In that region, we have the 88.7% Fib level. But the thing is, if we drop below 14K and below that region, I think we're entering a much longer bear market. And in reality, so people have asked me how, how much could Bitcoin actually go down? I mean, in an extreme case, and I can't see that. In a very extreme case, Bitcoin could still go down to 3K, yeah, which is ridiculous, but it could without damaging the long-term chart. Now, I don't really want to know what happens then with some of the altcoins, um, and I don't think it's realistic to expect Bitcoin to go ever go down to that level, but it is a possibility that we just need to have a plan for. So personally, I'm just continuing to accumulate because I believe in Bitcoin long-term, um, and I will enter more aggressively also for a swing trade as we can get closer here to that 14 to 16K area. Um, and that is where we are with Bitcoin at the moment. Yeah, <clears throat> I think we're heading further down. I think we are uh, going to find some support at 17.6K, obviously. You know, this is sort of where Bitcoin can make um, another attempt of holding yeah, because this is the swing low here from June. I mean, we can also draw the Fibonacci levels just from that low. And you can see that we've just reached with 18.4K, that 88.7% FIB level. So if we lose that, then yeah, I think this is sort of the last resort. So if we lose this level, then we can see that 17.6K level and then 16.9 and then 16K. That's where we are. Okay, and that's my update about Bitcoin. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.